Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Today is Tuesday, today is Wednesday. It is a Fiona day. It is a Fiona day, Sophie. Are you excited? Yeah, me too. I miss seeing her. I love seeing her even if we don't have a lesson. So, super excited about that. Today I wanted to start the vlog off telling you guys about the mini miracle that happened to me this morning. I already told you guys that on the weekend we met a fan and she and her mom were both these beautiful, amazing people. Same kind of energy as me and I really connected to them. And after meeting them, I felt so amazing and so inspired and I said to God, you know God, like it feels really good to meet like-minded people, people with the same level of energy, the people I connect with. And I, I prayed and asked him to send more people to me like that in my life. You always know when you meet somebody that God sends because they speak to your spirit and you always feel excited and happy and for me it doesn't happen that often. So today I woke up with all the comments of people freaking out about Sophie kicking Daisy and when I say kicking Daisy she did not kick Daisy she tried to tap her with her toe because every time she got close enough to tap her with her finger the dog would run away. She, we're in the process of training her. We're doing really well. She's doing really well. We're moving out to the outside which is a different challenge and a scarier challenge and so it's important for Daisy to to it's important for us to take all of our cues to tap her when we want her attention and Sophie couldn't get close to her because she kept running away so she used her foot which was longer than her hand and tried to tap her with her foot it went like this and it pushed into her it did not kick her it did not hurt her um, often when we tap her in the house even she is it it will startle her but she comes around she's our most confident dog ever it startles her because she can't hear but we need to get her attention especially outside so that's what was happening i thought that by leaving in the context of what was happening in the video that nobody that people would see it for what it was but i forgot that people do see things through their own experiences and their own mindset and so it people can misconstrue and determine something is different than what it really was and what we intended it to be. So anyway, I woke up and I was confronted with all the comments and I was like, oh, and I just was not feeling it this morning. I'm like, oh man, I just do not have a positive mindset. And I always like to wake up with a positive mindset because I want my family to have the best of me and I want my kids to learn to have a positive mindset. So I uh, went to Instagram, that's what I did. I like just got right out of the comment section. I went to Instagram and I posted a picture of Penny Pickle and me because a part of the video yesterday that made me so proud and so happy was the part where we were doing boomerangs and no matter what was happening in the arena, she was boomeranging right back to me and it filled my heart with happiness. And so I posted a, vid uh, I posted a picture of that on Instagram to try and bring myself back into a happy place. And then there was this young guy there was this young guy named Marcus and he messaged me. It was the first comment that I saw on my picture and he said something like, you know, I hope you guys have a great day. And it just made me feel so much better. Like he just inspired me in that moment when I read that comment after feeling so down that there was this amazing, beautiful person out there wishing us to have a good day. And then I just felt so inspired and so motivated by his comment that it turned my whole mood around. And then so I commented back to him and messaged him and said like, thank you so much for, you know, saying that it totally changed my my, my mindset for the day and then we had a little chat and he was just this beautiful nice person and then I talked to a couple other people and it made me realize that that's what I need to focus my time on all those people out there that are like-minded are kind and are excited about their life and excited about where they're going and super positive and so I decided that from now on as long as I can remember because it can get hard for me I'm gonna try and message one or two people every day for the next few weeks that motivate me by their kindness so that is my plan I hope it works out so if you find yourself getting a message from me in the next few days it is because you motivated me by kindness so I just wanted to say thank you Marcus for turning my day around and to everybody else that I talked to this morning you all there were two other girls and they both were just so sweet anyway let's get on with today's video because it's gonna be a busy day how was my girl right. is there a lot of ice it's I'll supposed to be six degrees Celsius today it's snow and rain today too you're joking me. No. Why are you always the bearer of bad news? I really nice right now. I just talked about how <laughs> positive people I need in my life, and here you are bearing bad news. I always get these kind of messages on Daisy the Dalmatian account. What? Like, um, 
like one was like we help each other furry friends like get more followers and stuff yeah and this one's searching for fellow dog lovers we need models and reps for our brand. yeah those are brands trying to get more more people to yeah. support them and i believe and it's all on dc donations account yeah and because she she's adorable she is adorable and you should not have kicked her what do you have to say her. i know what do you have I to say like it wasn't a kick, it was a push, it was a tap. It was a that. Yeah, she was trying and to... And she jumped because she didn't know I was behind her. Yeah, not because she was hurt, right? Yeah, I did it this morning, but like, tapped her with my finger, and she jumped. Yeah, morning. so uh, you guys should know that Sophie loves her, loves hard, and would never do anything to try and hurt her dog. She wasn't angry when she did that. She was trying to tap her and get her attention, because if... You don't, when we're outside, there's potential that she could get away and anything bad could happen. And so it was, it was important. Also, you should know that this dog loves her owner more than anybody else in the entire family. If Sophie leaves the room, this dog follows. She sleeps with Sophie now. How's she doing with sleeping with you? Pretty good. Yeah. I still got to move around. <laughs> Oh, that's amazing. Last night, I went in to tuck Sophie in. I still tuck my kids in. I, I just stand at the door for Gabby and say, good night, I love you. But um, I went in to tuck Sophie in bed last night and I tried to push Daisy out of the way. Yeah, if you guys had to see me, you'd probably be mad at me that I pushed her. I was trying to push her so that they could each have half of the bed because Sophie didn't sleep the night before. And she thought I was trying to take her out of that bed. She's claimed Sophie's bed for the night now. It had only been one night that she didn't sleep in her crate. And let me tell you, she has decided she's sleeping in Sophie's bed no matter what. And it's been working out. Fan said you should get this for Daisy. That is so cute. If you're wondering where Gabby is, I'm doing this new thing in homeschool. Usually I wake up in the morning and I start getting ready and then I wake the girls up and now I've decided that they are big enough to wake themselves up and Gabby never wakes up. So I told them you need to set your alarm. I set our hours, our school hours. Um, when Sam's not home, they have to be downstairs at 8.30 and when Sam is home, they have to be downstairs by 9 a.m. And that's our schedule. And what happens if you don't arrive to school on time? You take your phone away. I take your phone away. So what do you think um, is going to happen today? You think Sophie, Gabby's going to make it? No. <laughs> is okay. she even awake? I don't think so. Um, so, um, get somebody loves you. Um, hand sanitizer. It smells so good. It smells like buttercream cupcake. Sophie's an inspiration to me every day because she's so positive and happy. Comment below if you think Gabby's gonna make it to homeschool in time and I don't have to take away her phone. I personally think she will because she's the kind of girl that just pops out of bed at the very last second and makes it. She loves her phone. All right, Gabby has arrived. Gabby, did you make the 9 a.m. deadline? Yeah. Yes, what time did you arrive for school? 8.58 a.m. <laughs> Walked in. Looking gorgeous, ready for school. See, my girls could do school. Yeah, it was actually 8.57. Are you ready for school? You want coffee? None of my other kids have ever shown any interest in coffee. Gabby is a coffee connoisseur like her dad. Uh, thanks to the rise of Starbucks, I think that's really contributed no. for kids. I love Starbucks, but I only like When them. your brothers were young, they're... It was Timmy's. When your brothers were young, though, they would never, ever drink coffee. Like, they I hated tried, coffee. I tried to drink ice caps, but it just made me feel sick. Yeah, so anyway, I found her this chocolate coffee yesterday at the grocery store, Starbucks. And so, she, hopefully she's going to try that and see how that goes. So, we are getting ready to go to riding. And so, if he's going to go to the store, what are you going to the store for? Fiona. Okay, so I'm going to give you my bank card, and I'm going to tell you to pick out whatever snacks you think that we should have for Fiona, Your okay? Your are really yellow yeah. right now. My cheeks? Oh, Your my teeth. Okay. Your top teeth. Yeah, I was eating something. <laughs> okay, Gabby, is there anything you want? Oreos for my Oreo cake. I think I'll have any Oreos. Oreos. Okay, so regular Oreos and then some Fiona snacks, Kay. okay? And uh, so they're going grocery shopping and we're gonna get ready. Gabby and I are gonna get ready. I'm gonna help her with a little bit of math before we go. And I wanted to, I was talking to a friend and she was saying that the reason that the video looked like Sophia kicked her and hurt her is because Daisy jumped when she touched her with her foot. And it does look like that. And in our videos, it's a, such a weird phenomenon. Recently, a while ago, I posted a video of us riding 
on a dirt road and I posted the same road the other day and the and the ground is was soaking wet from the snow you could tell it was a dirt road but in the past the road looked like concrete to people and people were like so upset that we would ride our horse on concrete and it was dirt like sometimes it just looks weird anyway my friend was saying that the reason it looks like she hurt her was because Daisy jumped when Sophie pushed her with her foot yeah, and, and then I was trying to say, like, e in the video, though, we're just starting to use the the vibration collar, and it is can be, like, she's not used to it yet. And so every time we push it, which is why we have limits about it and why we're doing it a specific way, but she would jump every single time Sophie would push the collar, which is, with, and you can see, if you look back, you can see she was so super jumpy. She was so nervous. She was anticipating the buzz. It's just a buzz. And a vibration it's not a shock collar and so when Sophie went to tap her like this um she was already anticipating it and she jumped out of fear not because Sophie hurt her and not that fear is good either but in the also further in the video it's hard for you guys to see because of the different angle of the camera but again I was pushing Penny away from me like I was using so much force I was being gentle but I was like pushing her like that way worse than what Sophie did and I was pushing her away so that I could run behind her and do a boom boomerang thing and it's like that's what I do there's just so many different things that happen people are going to freak out people are going to make up stories about what really truthfully happened and I understand that it's hard to understand by seeing what you saw unless you are there are there sometimes I don't know it's hard to explain but that's what happened and that's all I can do about it Sophie loves her dog. She's not abused. Our dogs are really, really, really well trained, you guys. We go places and people compliment us on how well our dogs are trained, especially our chihuahuas. People tell us they've never, ever seen better trained chihuahuas. Also, Sophie stepped on Daisy's foot today in the bathroom. She went to turn around and Daisy got under her and Sophie stepped on her and Daisy actually was hurt and cried and Sophie cried and was like begging me to help her and was carrying her around and was so upset. Like, she just would never hurt her yeah, dog. Yeah, I don't like my animals get hurt. Oh, and she wasn't even angry when she tried to tap her. This is what we do. Let me show you. Oh, I, I can't do it because she's paying attention. Whoa. This is, <laughs> this is what we do. We tap her three times when we want to get her attention. And if she's not paying attention or she's not expecting us to be behind her, she jumps. Because, because she's she deaf. She doesn't know we're walking And she's in the process of being trained. And you're going to see some pro times when she doesn't understand. And then suddenly like she will scare. understand. Gabby, you're not making it any easier. I, I like to scare her sometimes. So I go up to her when she's laying on the couch because she's not supposed to be on there. And I go. And she's like, whoo. And then she barks. Yeah, you're okay. Are you okay? Here the world is. Like insanely yellow. I know, I'm going to go brush him right now. Also, if Sophie actually was kicking her dog or tried to kick her dog, I would have lost my mind. There, you guys do not even have any idea of how much this. of a non-violent rule we have in our house. We like even my kids don't hurt each other. It definitely bothers me that it made that the video looked like she was kicking her dog. She definitely did not kick her dog. It's one of those things where if you take it out of context, it did look bad. But if you were there and you knew what was happening and you saw what was happening, you wouldn't have been able to take it out of context. If Sophie ever actually kicked her dog, hit her dog, any of those things, she would not have a dog for very long. But I appreciate the fact that a lot of you guys were standing up for Daisy. And I like that you guys come and tell us when you think things are wrong. Like the time you thought that we were riding on the dirt road and you thought it was cement. I get it. Like, I get it. YouTube is a hard thing. Seeing things without knowing the context is a hard thing. Feels like spring. What a beautiful day. Another day, Gracie, and all that snow out there will be gone. Penny. You coming, Pen? Welcome to Mudville. So this is the stuff that I've been using for Storm's tail. I also have something else too, but I'm gonna explain in a minute why we use this. Got my partner in crime here. Poor Gracie. Do you think we'd ever find a friend for you, Gracie? Somebody that you get along with? What are you doing over there, Patty Pickle? You trying to escape? Hi. I just came to say hi. We're headed to the other barn, and I wanted to, to say hi. I wanted to see how you're doing. Hey. Eh? Oh, you're loving the sun. 
Are you liking the sun? Ooh, a little bit warm. I'm gonna take these blankets off today. If she was running, she'd be hot. So, ooh, <laughs> she gave me a kiss. So you guys know how she doesn't really like her face touched and her head touched? What she does like is hugging. I got, oh, okay, maybe not. <laughs> or she's hugging me back. Are you hugging me? She does love that though. I feel like I want to take off her blanket. I think I should take off her blanket. I don't have another. I'm going to do it, you guys. I'm going to take it off. You okay if I take off your blanket, Pam? You want it off? What do you think of that? What do you think? It's almost time, Penny Pickle. Six degrees above zero, not very warm. If I had a rain sheet, like an insulated rain sheet, I'd put it on her. You need a brush. What do you think? She's like, put it back on, I'm cold. You know it's warm when I can be out with bare hands. Penny, your face is always a mess. You're always a mess. If I come home and you're covered in mud, that will not make me happy. It is a bit windy out, and on this side of the barn there's no wind, which is I think why they stand over here, her and Willow. This is probably the worst part of the year because there won't be any more riding outside until the ground dries, and the ground can't dry until all the snow melts, and then the sun gets hot enough, so there won't be riding outside on the grass anyways for months. I will be able to ride on the road. Gracie, you don't look too bad. You know that moment you take off your winter coat and you're not looking too chubby? Good job. Oh, don't look at that side. What'd you get? So, this is what I bought. These. Oh my open. goodness. And two crunchies. And oh my favorite. goodness. What the heck, Sophia? Are these the things that... Yeah, they're good. All right, so whenever I send Sophie shopping, you know it's gonna be a good shopping trip. This is what she bought for riding lessons today. Dad said that you like these. Yeah, I like I those. Like, I like those ones. Okay, so we'll put those away for later. The cookies are for Gabby. That's a lot of snacks, Sophie. All right, comment below. Which snack would you like if you were here? Which one would you eat? That's uh, cheese bread right there. That's cheese bread. Cookies, veggie, veggie tri chips. Straws. Veggie straws, M&Ms. I'm gonna take a picture and show Fiona. That is like over shopping. All right, Finn is here. We got a ch and Chino. We're gonna change Chino's blankets. Yesterday, somebody sent me a message showing me Chino all tangled up in his blanket, and I had rescued her horse the day before, and she rescued Chino. Hi, handsome. Oh, Her must be feeling more awake today because he's not at the bottom here. Usually, when he's more energetic. He's up at the top with the other horses. Uh-oh, don't run. I can tell he's energetic. He's taking the high road. I knew it. There we go. I can't believe like all the snow is going, you guys. It's looking like a whole new place again. That's one of the things I like about having four seasons is that nothing gets old. It's all new every day, something different. Finn came to me and we met halfway. Why? Because I, I gave him one of the sugar cubes so before. Did, did, yeah. Main Delights may have saved the day. None of our horses ran from us today. Sophie thinks it's because she gave him the Main Delights treats the other day and now he's like, ooh, I always want to go to her. Wouldn't you if someone walked up to you and gave you a treat? It's true, I would. I would want to go to people who give me treats. I would want to go to people who are kind to me. All right, we got Finny Boy who's doing fine, feeling happy, ready to roll. I'm gonna put that stuff on Stormy's tail right now. You'd be looking good, Storm. Did you already have your nap? All right, I brought some stuff for your tail to make you better. So. I told you guys I was gonna show you what this stuff was for. So it's coconut oil. And in the past, so Storm's always had this since we bought him. Always, he's always had it. And like right from when we first brought him to our barn and it only really comes up like in winter, at the end of winter. And we tried MTG, which was gross. We've tried, We've tried, it's not a sheath, his sheath is clean. He's recently been wormed. I was here the day that the barn did it. I know exactly what he's been dewormed for and we had him tested before, long ago, a couple years ago when he first had this, for mites. 
and it's winter, so I feel confident that it's not, oh, that just showed up in a heart shape. So I feel confident that it's not a bug situation. I think he's just itchy. All right, so I, I lathered him in, in coconut oil, and there's a spot underneath here, right there. I, I'll wash my hands, don't get stressed out. There's a spot right underneath here that he actually gets poop stuck there and it makes him itchy. And I think that that's what the problem is. I think that's what we decided a long time ago the problem was. And we've tried other, like we've tried so many things. We tried some cream that the vet gave us, but it just dried it out and it made it seem to make it worse. Anyway, this is the only thing that's worked in the past. I think he got overheated the other day and then really just took it, took it out. The only thing I'm really worried about is that putting all this coconut oil on his tail is going to attract the other horses to his tail. No, we did that. We did do it at the other bar at other barns, and it, it was never out yeah. I know, but the horses here are extra special, <laughs> yeah. in a good way, not in a bad way. But anyway, so did his tail, cleaned his bum. He's looking happy. Are you guys having a party? What's happening in here? Uh, we're kind of just chilling. Gubby's drinking her coffee. All right, well, let's go. Horses first, people last. You ready to roll, mister? Ready to roll, Stormy boy? This entire container has only been used on Storm's tail. That's how much coconut oil we've had to put in Storm's tail. Storm's tail's in the shape of a heart, though. All that. Do you guys see it? It's in the shape of a heart. It's a beautiful heart. <laughs> Sophie's already. <laughs> don't don't scare them away. Gabby wants to like storm. Are you looking at those turkeys? So we messaged the vet. If you want to message our vet, we share the same vet, and he knows our horse. And so she messaged the vet and said, like, Storm got this little cut on Friday, and it looks like he's got a bit of proud flesh. And so we sent she sent pictures, and the vet said he wanted it scrubbed. And honey put on it, which is a antibacterial, anti, anti everything. And so I'm just looking to see if I can find our first aid kit. So we have this little first aid kit, and we actually have some antibiotic ointment, and we have a whole jar of honey. Honey is actually more natural, and it actually works better than that. Got some gauze. We got, I think, all the things we need, Gabby. Honey. Honey, yep. Yeah. You know what to do? Mm -hmm. There's some gauze and stuff there to scratch it. So when you get proud flesh, there's you have some to... gauze that's pads. Wow. And there's gauze too. So, how was your lesson? Terrible. Why was it terrible? Because. Scary? It was scary. Oh, no. No. Came off. No. Oh, the hook came off. All right. Yeah. Anyway, so Gabby's gonna treat Stormy Boy and he has to go with no blanket. He doesn't want him to wear the blanket till it heals up, which I understand, but oh. Gabby is a pro at treating her horse. She actually is getting really good aptitude for, for this. For what? Treating him. Oh, look at that one. That's so cute. This is from Maine Delights on Instagram. Can I get that one? And it has a nut, it has a mint in it. With the storm There's light. other ones that have mints in them. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, I wanted to get a picture. Of... <laughs> Some accidentally he swallowed it. He We're swallowed it? Teeth. All right, dude. He, he spit out this. Time to see the true test if he likes it. Is that the mint part? No, it's a piece of the treat. He actually liked the whole treat. No, not bad. Good boy. It's just very molasses. All right, here's your thing. I'll clean up the poo. You get started. We need to take off How was that. your lesson? Okay. He wasn't jumping, so I didn't two-point. Because he wasn't actually lifting up. And how did that go over with Fiona? Not well. I just was barely <laughs> two-pointing. But I was two-pointing how she told me to two-point on Chino and Storm before. So I don't care. Um, do you want me to Sure. Okay, so this is one I'm going to spin. I think I have a banana. It has a banana or nuts? Banana. I don't think horses can have nuts. It must be banana. I don't know if horses can have nuts or not. All right, main delights. That's my hand. <laughs> Go gentle. Go gentle, dude. <laughs> Do you like main delights? They were, yes, he says. They were so kind to send those to you. What's it like to be the one that he turns to when he saddles answers? What's it like?
Oh